So who are the influencers that you follow? Which are the thought leaders? Which are the authors, uh, bloggers, YouTubers, the people who are teaching you and shaping your thoughts about your industry? Who is it that you follow? Actually, I would love to know if you want to comment below. But my question for you here, besides who you follow, is can you identify the values that they are influencing you toward? I noticed that in my industry of business, marketing, success, most of the experts and thought leaders and influencers are influencing us toward a set of values that I might call be more, right? Be more attractive than, than other people are, and then you'll, you'll be more successful. Be more brilliant than other people are. Try, trying to come across as more brilliant, and then you'll have people respect you more. Uh, be more persuasive. You know, learn copywriting, learn persuasion tactics so that you can get people to do what you want them to do. You can get them to buy, get them to sign up, get them to um, love you, basically, and get them to believe you, get them to follow you. So there's this set of values that is about an external metric of success. You are uh, being you know, pers pers persuaded and pressured to be, to be more like them, right? Um, to be more like the rich, the popular, uh, the beautiful, right? I mean, this is especially true on Instagram. I mean, if you go on Instagram, well, it's an image-driven platform. So everybody looks amazing. You know, they're always living the lifestyle of the rich and famous, it looks like, right? And I mean, that's in part why I don't like to be on Instagram. Um, but... <clears throat> It, that, so, so back to that question, Who, whom are you following and what are they influencing you toward? I want you to really think about that. Um, do, they, do they want you to be more polished? Do they, you know, do, you, do they want you to be more successful looking? Um, I think what happens when we go in that direction is there is, there is this anxious grasping toward a future success that we aren't there yet and therefore there is a almost a contract with ourselves not to be happy until we get there um, this is also the danger of setting goals that are that are numerical goals um, oh I've got to have this many followers before I'm successful this much money Right. <clears throat> this is why the goals that I encourage you to set are, are always about process rather than numbers. Oh, you know, process goals are I will write a blog post today. I, I'm not going to worry about how many readers I get, how many likes. <laughs> I'm going to make this video today. That's what I showed up for. I showed up, I don't know, I may get two likes. Right now I have two likes. <laughs> Thank you, Judith and Omar. You know, that's that may be all. Don't don't like my don't like this video. Don't don't encourage me, right? But I I make a process goal to show up. That's all I do. If I show up, so so. Here's what I'm trying to cultivate within myself, and hopefully, um, demonstrate and model for for you a different metric of success than what most of the other people you follow are suggesting you towards. So my metric of success is, can I be connected again today to what's real for me? What's, what feels important to the world that, that needs to be said? Can I feel connected again today to my sense of well-being? Um, for me, that is, these days I'm, I'm practicing uh, sensing into my witness consciousness which is that observer somewhere here in the back that is always calm, is big enough, magnanimous enough to, to deal with every aspect of life, anything that happens in life, uh, that is, I believe, uh, connected to 
the most loving and and wise source uh, there is. So 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 that's what I'm trying to do is connect again to my source of well being, and I encourage you to connect to yours, however you define that to be. What is your source of well being? Connect again today to that, and from that source of well being springs up a wisdom and a caring and how can we connect again to that sense of caring and compassion and in our business that caring and compassion is for our audience how can we connect again to that caring and compassion for our audience right and and then finally how can i connect again today to some virtue such as patience, such as diligence, such as joy in, in anything that I'm doing. How can I connect again to that? That is what I'm cultivating, trying, you know, that is what I'm working on on a daily basis, trying to connect again, connect again, connect again, rather than trying to be more, be more, be more uh, like somebody else, be more popular be more persuasive be more attractive be more you know so that's uh that's my message for you today is to take a look at whom you're following on social media <clears throat> who do you follow on instagram who do you follow on facebook whose blog post do you read whose videos do you watch and what are they suggesting to you about what success means <clears throat> it's probably be prettier be be more brilliant um be more attractive, be more popular, you know, be more confident. I believe confidence comes from practice. Confidence comes from showing up again and again and, and you finally seeing and believing yourself as reliable. Uh, and, and that's the first stage of confidence. And then as you become reliable with whatever you're practicing, other people keep telling you you're amazing at it and the confidence arises naturally rather than be more confident, fake it till you make it. Um, so I'm here as a counterpoint to many of the people that you may be following. And uh, I, I hope that if you can connect again to your authenticity every single day, I believe it's just a mentally more healthy and emotionally and spiritually healthier way forward instead of the hustle and the attractiveness and the uh, popularity that we are being pulled towards. And if we're not there, we're not enough yet. So come back again today and connect with your deepest source of well-being, with your authenticity, and with your caring. Wish you well.